if you want when your house voltage increase so your house load should stop automatically because due to over voltage your house load may be damaged so when over voltage happen your load should stop automatically same for under voltage when your house voltage decrease so your house load may also damage so when under voltage happen your house load should stop automatically and when voltage comes properly so your load should start automatically okay so let's start in this video we have best voltage and current protection device this device protect protection from over voltage under voltage and over current in this device we have two screen you can see your house voltage here on voltage screen and you can see your house load ampere here on ampere screen this voltage and current controller device is made by cnc company which model number you can see on your screen now know more about this voltage and current protection device why we need to install this voltage and current protection device in our house so let's start okay in normal distribution box we connect a mcb by this mcb we get protection from overload and short circuit when overload and short circuit happen our mcb trip and protect okay and also we connect rccb by this rccb we get protection from earth fault but in general you may see over voltage and under voltage happens normally in our house okay so when over voltage and under voltage happen our house load may also damage so by connecting this device when over voltage and under voltage happen also when over current or overload happen so this device will provide protection hope you clear the concept this device will provide protection from over voltage under voltage and over current okay now know more about this device on this device we have two screen on first screen you can see voltage on second screen you can watch ampere okay in this device we have two indicators first is over voltage when over voltage happen so over voltage indicator will blink when under voltage happen so under voltage indicator will blink and we can understand under voltages happen also we have one indicator for over current okay when over current happen so over current indicator will blink and we can understand easily is any fault happen in our house okay now now in this device we have three buttons when we press menu button for 3 second we enter in programming mode also we have two keys which is positive and negative by this we can increase or decrease our parameters okay so we have three keys and connection of this voltage and current protection device is very simple you can see here input connection in input connection we need to connect to phase and neutral here very simple connection okay phase and neutral here and from output we just need to connect to phase wire from out as a load we connect one bulb okay so phase output wire comes from output terminals and neutral connects directly to the load okay so this device connection is very simple you can done easily at your home without any electricians okay so connection is very simple now understand how to done complete wiring on this device okay so phase and neutral connects directly to the circuit breaker okay first we connect a phase wire to input power supply so we connect a phase connector to input power supply same connection for neutral wire so we connect a neutral wire to input device neutral terminal okay so it's a very simple connection phase and neutral connection is done now understand how to connect a load okay so input connection is done for load we just need to connect a neutral wire directly to neutral terminal and phase wire connects from output terminal okay so its a connection is very simple neutral connects directly and output phase connect from output terminal okay now our connection is done now understand how to program this voltage and current protection device okay so for programming we just start circuit breaker so you can see here delay time showing okay so after delay time your load will start okay so we said 10 second so after 10 second our load is start okay load is started now you can see voltage is 230 volt come here 
and in ampere screen it's showing zero because bulb load is very low okay when you connect a heavy load so it will show ampere okay so it's showing voltage and ampere now for programming first you need to press this menu button for three seconds okay now you can see here over voltage screen is blinking okay so you can sit over voltage here okay by positive or negative button by over voltage you can set from 230 volt to 300 volt okay now if you want to stop overload protection so you can off overload protection here okay now for practical understanding we set as a over voltage 250 volt okay Say 250 volt as a over voltage again press menu button now you see here under voltage led is blinking so you can set under voltage from 110 volt to 210 okay now if you want to stop under voltage protection so you can stop easily okay now for practical understanding we set under voltage is a 180 volt okay now again press menu button it's showing delay time okay when your device is start how many delay time you set okay so for practically understanding we said 10 second delay time okay again press menu button so you can see a third screen is blinking that means over current you can set here from 0 ampere to 63 ampere okay if you want to stop this overload protection so you can stop easily okay now for practical understanding we set 10 ampere as a overload setting okay so set 10 ampere for overload now press menu button so it shows voltage difference if you want to set voltage difference so you can set here from 1 volt to 15 volt if you want to set voltage difference so you can set here okay now press menu button so over voltage indicator blinking so you can set over voltage delay time that means if over voltage happen so how much time should takes this device to stop your house load okay so you can set delay time from 0 second to 10 second okay again press menu button so you can set under voltage delay time from 1 second to 10 second now press menu button so you can set also over current delay time if over current happen so how much time should device take to stop your load so you can set from 1 second to 10 second so it's a programming is very simple now programming is done now let's see how this device works and provide protections okay you can see here voltage 230 volt if voltage increase from 250 volt okay so if voltage increase from 250 volt so after delay time 5 seconds our device will stop automatically and if voltage comes normally okay so after delay time which we said after delay time our load will start automatically okay if voltage comes under from over voltage okay so let's see one more time if our voltage increase from 250 volt so our device will stop our house load automatically okay now you can see here voltage 257 so our load will stop automatically and if voltage comes normally so after delay time our load will start automatically now let's see how device provide protection from under voltage okay so for under voltage we set 180 volt okay so when our voltage decrease from 180 volt so after delay time which we set 5 second okay if our voltage decrease from 180 volt so after delay time our load will stop automatically and if voltage comes normally so after delay time our load will start automatically okay let's see after delay time our load will start automatically if voltage comes normally okay let's see one more time okay if our voltage decrease from 180 volt which is under voltage so after 5 seconds load will stop automatically and if voltage comes normally so after delay time our load will start automatically so this is best of voltage and current protection device which we should install in our house i hope you clear the concept of this voltage and current protection device if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box where today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching